Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is the day that we are saying goodbye. Let me explain. today will mark our one and a half year anniversary at this farm. We'll have lived here for one and a half years. One and a half years! The time has flown! Sam, what do you think about us living here for one and a half years? Way too long. Way too long? You thought we wouldn't be here so long? Yeah. When we started this little venture, we weren't sure we would even take to the farm life. Sophie, what do you think about being here for one and a half years? Okay, I got Finn. Okay, okay she got Finn. Are you taking Chino? Well, I have loved it. I've loved every single second of it. I have loved the good and the bad and the ugly. The only thing that I've not loved about being in this farm, one thing, can you guys guess it? I'm gonna pause the video. You guys stop and comment below and then I'll come back and tell you. What do you think it is, Sam? Uh, so one thing I've not, what? Too small. Too small. What's the one thing you think I have not loved about this little farm? Too small. Too small? Gabby is having her beloved morning off on weekends. The girls switch it up. Gabby did chores yesterday, Sophie does chores today. She gets to take her beloved horse though, who had a good sleep. If you guys didn't see our trail ride video, he had a good sleep too. Then you should check it out because it was such a good one. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we. I swear, I just saw Sam let Storm eat grass on the way to the field. Big no no. Okay, are you guys ready? Have you got your comment down below what you think I don't love about the day by day farm? So the thing that I do not love about our farm is the poop pile. It's the poop pile. It's that ginormous monstrosity that just grew and grew and grew over the last 1.5 years. It's so huge. People have been asking me, why the heck is it not at the back of your barn? And the reason it's not at the back of our barn is because in the winter when it's so cold, we can't even hardly move. Taking the poop from the barn all the way to the back would be an impossible task. It just would not be possible. Actually, now that I'm envisioning it, it could be possible if Sam came down every single day and snow blowed a path, but it would be so long, so tedious, so hard. So I don't even know who, horses are running. I don't even know who initiated that pile. Actually, I do know it was Sam. Sam did it. Sam is at the, Sam did it. It was Sam's fault. All oh, Sam. Um, I forgot to tell you last night. What? So Dad said that he didn't want to walk to go catch the boys because they were all the way down there. And um, I called Storm and Chino and they came galloping. Oh, I wish I had seen that. Right. Sam, what do you have to say about the fact that you are the person that put the poop there? This designated our poop pile. It I was, designated the first poop pile. I didn't designate the second poop pile. Well, it just grew. So well, what do you have? Your, you do you like, still see your guys' laziness during the winter? Okay, let's go back and see all the time Sam dumped poop other places. Then <laughs> it can't just be in one little pile. I just grows. Well, that'll be all moved once the old stuff goes. So today we are finally getting a chance to say goodbye forever to the poop pile. Yeah. Are you excited? Hopefully, knock on wood. As long as the oh, guy no. shows up. Um, we'll never because I know. The horses. Yeah. So we're gonna get to say goodbye to half of the poop pile at least. He, a man is coming, Sam put an ad up. I told Sam, put an ad up! Sam put an ad up. He's coming, he's gonna take a bunch of poop. Woohoo! And we're gonna say goodbye. We're gonna say Fertilize. goodbye to it. Yeah, it's great fertilizer. I wish that actually we could use it ourselves. But we can, we have some bad Yeah, food. we're always gonna have a poop pile though. This is, we're just saying goodbye to the poop pile we have now. I'm excited, today is gonna be a great day. Are you excited to say goodbye? Yes. To the poop pile? Yes. 
forever? Bye bye. Bye bye. The poop guy's here. The poop guy's here. Yay! Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Stella's poop is in there. Like any part of Stella will be gone. Did somebody groom the ponies out here again? No. Sophie and I are gonna clean this arena from all the poop and then we're gonna lunch Finny without Gabby. We're gonna lunch Finn and see if he can be released to, Jesus. He's pooped. We did grab this one. I'll go get one. Uh, we're gonna see if Finn can be released to his friends today. You want to be released? He's like a little spookier than normal. He's a little not himself. It's hard being on your own, isn't it? Hi. Yeah. So his trailer is almost full, and there's hardly a dent in our poop pile. I'm starting to worry. I'm starting, to, starting to worry that we're stuck with it forever. Hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and what we can do Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life You won't believe it. The poop pile is still here. Oh, how dumb was I to think that a year and a half worth of poop was going to fit into somebody's trailer and disappear all in one day. Like, he filled the whole trailer up and doesn't even look like there's a dent. The guy wants to take more, but his wife said he can't do it all day long because it's too nice of a day and she wants to spend time together. Oh, darn those wives. Sam is dragging me along again for one of his other cockamamie schemes. Apparently he bought more T-posts, which is what we have for our arenas. Um, he got them secondhand from somebody. It's always better to get secondhand for some things um, if you can. And then we were gonna hit the grocery store because like I told you guys, it is a long weekend here. It's a special weekend. The May 24th weekend every year starts our summer off in Canada. It's not summer yet, but is when our weather finally usually starts to start turning warm. And usually people celebrate by camping. If you guys have been following us for any length of time, then you know that we have a trailer at the beach, but it has been closed. It opens next Saturday, uh, so we're not able to go camping. Also, there has been a fire ban on, and nobody's been allowed to have fire. So we haven't been able to roast marshmallows. We haven't been able to do anything fun. Even though um, our world is still getting back to normal, we are going to take advantage of this camping weekend, and we are going to camp 24 hours in our horse trailer. Can you believe that? Like, I don't think it's going to be a good night. It's a cramped space. Four of us in the horse trailer, no friends. I always dreamed that we would do this with Kaylee. But we are gonna do it. We are gonna make the best of it and we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully we can roast some marshmallows and have a campfire and do all the camping things. We got the groceries, we got the tea posts, which is what we're gonna use to build another paddock. It is almost time for us to put our horses in the grass, which I'm excited about and nervous about all at the same time. Let's go home and uh, get ready to camp. Um, uh, we just got home and there's a problem that the girls did not notice. Can you guys tell the problem? Finn is actually released today, so I have to go down. I told the girls we're gonna put him down in the, with the boys this afternoon. I think we waited a couple hours too long. <laughs> yep. Well, at least he gets along with them. <laughs> well, Willow's over there like, I'm just eating here, leave me alone. <laughs> Hopefully he put Gracie in her place. Gracie's like, look what happened! You guys were looking to just see her nod to me. Yeah. Come down, quick! There's been an accident! Somebody's in my field! <laughs> She's like, they notice. She's like, come and help us! He's in! He's here! Ooh. I bet you there was some squeal in there. 
Kim Willow's still over there. Like, I'll just be here and eat. Yeah, it was Gracie that broke through. I know it. Uh-oh. Don't be kicking. This is no good. All right, let's go get the girls. <gasps> ah! They put their butts together. Gracie's like, help me, help me! Come and get me! We're coming, Gracie. I got another bag of carrots. It's my favorite thing. Every time we go grocery shopping, I buy them. This is how many horses we have. This is how many horses we have. All right, Gracie, tell me what happened. Who broke through? Who broke the rope? Just tell me what happened. Wait, broke it? Oh yeah, they broke it. <gasps> There's wood there too, so that's scary. Hey, hold on. Wait, don't get into a fight in front of me. Hey, Finn. Finn's walking away. I'll give Finn Willow. Oh, I have a Willow one. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Oh my God. Crazy, that's too big. <gasps> oh, nope, that's not yours. That's Storm and Chino's. What happened? Okay, so there's a piece of wood that's gonna be screwed. <gasps> So basically, they ripped the whole thing off. I'm telling you, it was probably a scary scene when we weren't here. So this, I don't even know where this came from. Oh, this is the railing from over here. Who did it? Was it you or was it him? You can tell me, Gracie, I trust you. I trust you over him because you're a girl. Girls don't lie. Who was it? Hmm. Finn and Gracie. I know it was them. I know Gracie was trying to get through. Mm. Finny, get his halter and let's get his fly mask on him. Well, you just yeah. gotta check them. Yeah, good job, Sophie. Don't forget, Willow and Finn used to be friends. Actually, that's a lie. Willow always hated him. We need to brush her. But we're gonna go for a walk. You wanna go for a walk? Every other night, I brush Willow. Good girl. Hmm. Hello. Hello, pony. Hello, little pony. Here. She is so cute. Like, when I look at every single one of our horses, I get butterflies in my stomach. Like, just seeing her standing here, I feel like she's put together so well and she's so beautiful. Gabby um, came in from wedding her buggy okay? She said, well, Finn is with the mares. And then I feel the same way when I look at Gracie. Like, she's just so personable, so pretty, and it's so, like, I love her personality. She's tough. We could take somebody out with this. We could take somebody out with that. Save it for tonight. We're sleeping outside. Yes. No, add more nails and a handle so that you can actually do this better. Yeah. So All of our friends who sneak up on us, in our farm now? Hey, listen, I don't want you. I know I said you're pretty, but I don't want you to follow me because this is happening. Help! <laughs> get away, get away. Both of you get away from each other. Oh, getting away from the back end. Get away from me. I do not like fighting horses. Yeah, let's go take Finny out. So this is what happened to the poop pile. Remember I said say goodbye? Well, save your goodbyes because it's still here and there's still a lot of it. Literally, they took a quarter of it. I want to ride Storm on trails with the girls, but I'm scared and this is why I'm scared. I'm scared because some of you guys think he'd be great at cross country, but Storm's real passion is that he is so super competitive, he will never let anybody go and beat him in a race. So if I'm riding Storm and Gabby and maybe Kaylee start to canter on a trail, then there's no way in heck that I'm just gonna be walking slowly. Like, he's gonna canter after them. Do you think that's true? Yes. So, I know. So, so to how am I gonna save myself? So we're gonna prepare anyways, and we're gonna start getting uh, Storm used to trails. He started walking him a few times down the road, a couple of times back when the like when it was a little bit colder, and he was a little bit spooky, a little bit not as good as I would like. So Gabby's gonna ride him. We're gonna take a couple of ponies for walks, and yeah, 
that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do. That's and the plan. What? If we left it in the field, bring Storm out, and then we take the girls. So you don't want to take Finn? I feel, feel like um the rocks would hurt him right now. Okay, so why don't we leave Finn? He's just yeah. Standing there, and he needs to run. All right, let's take Finn to the field. We'll bring Storm up, and, and we'll then, take Storm and the ponies. Yes. And the girls. Okay, let's do it. It's so almost time, you guys, to put the horses in the pastures. We're gonna be putting them in in a couple of weeks. Actually, a few weeks. And then, we're gonna rotate every two weeks. Okay. Chino's gonna have a rest today. This is nerve wracking. Chino seems happy. Chino seems happy to be with his friend. They would literally but we would take you. We would take you, but you need a rest. Gabby's packing up Stormy. Sophie's doing Willow. I'm doing my girl Gracie that I love. And I love when she's so hairy. Like, what watch mom, this. What mom means is that she's dead or green. Like, it's a lot of hair. She doesn't stand in the grass cross ties very well. Do you guys remember? Look at that. Do you guys remember when I told you the story about Gracie? They said that before... We got her. If the if the girth was too tight, she would just lay down in the field, which I think is super funny. Gracie's like, "Well, I see the grass." She's, she's trying to get ahead of me, and ahead of me, I actually have a uh, Gracie. Stop. Okay, ahead of me, I have ahead of me, I have Willow and Storm. Two black beauties and a Palomino. Let's go. Stormy looking at nothing. Actually, he's looking around. He used to be like our least spooky horse. And now he's kind of likes to look. I love you. To be honest, I feel like I'm learning a lot of confidence from Gracie. She's such a small size and I can manage her. And I think a lot of my fears with horses that I'm actually afraid of horses, like, for real. But I'm not as afraid of ponies. Where are you? Where are you? Oh my God, Gabby, with a bag. She's desensitizing. <laughs> I don't know, but it's working. Half my problems with horses is that I ache them on with my fear. Is that true, Gracie? Get out of the way! Get out of my way! No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh. Yeah, you made it So the poles that Sam got today are going to be for this area. Over here is going to be another big, huge field. Oops. Over here is going to be another big, huge field. It's going to go from where Gabby is all the way over here. All the way over here. And it's going to be like another grass field for the horses to eat. And then if we have time and ability, we'll maybe put them on the top of the hill so that they can graze there as well. Yeah. Sometimes Storm looks off and it's because he's like running on the spot instead of running forward. And that was either a leaf change or a buck. I don't know. That was a kick out. That was a kick out. Was that for a lead change or a...
Was that a lead change? No. Big hill here. There's a big divot there. That was not a lead change? No. That was a... Uh... Oh. The biggest problem with horses is that they're the biggest time suck. They take all your time because you gotta keep them moving. Gracie loved her walk today. Willow loved her walk. Storm it seemed to do really well until Gabby asked him for a lead change and then he was like, nah, I'll just do this instead. I think he just wasn't going fast enough. Ever since he got his new shoes put on, I feel like he hasn't wanted to move that much. So I don't know if they're not supporting his heel the same way. One of them looks kind of like it maybe isn't back far enough. I'm going to talk to our farrier when he comes. Some of the things that I want to get for our little farm still are like things on my list once things start to really open up and we can go shopping, which should be in phase two, which it should be soon. Um, I want to get, you guys remember when we were at the other barn and we had the two water troughs in the stall, in the field and the horses ate out of them? I want to get a few of those. I ideally would like to have one per horse plus the water trough, which would kind of look silly, four water troughs sitting in a field. But I feel like they, Chino really likes to eat out of a bucket, like really likes to. So maybe that's what he's always done. I don't know. I, I'd like to get those. And then I'd like to get some for the minis, for the ponies. They'd have to be smaller. Um, so I want to get that. And then I also want to get some of those ice boots. Boots that you put on that ice your leg, your horse's legs after. Can you guys see it? Twenty-seven degrees. Twenty-seven degrees out today and Gabby's got her winter coat on. Yep, that's how she rolls. That's how we roll. Sophie and I have our t-shirts on. Gabby's got her winter coat on when it's super freezing she's wearing short sleeves i don't know how to explain that